one, two, one, two. What's good, Pat Academy? All my colleagues, uh, it's my journal for the day. So I'm going to go over this trade with you guys. Today I hit for 50 something thousand dollars in like an hour. It was like 54,000 or something like that. Uh, let me make it bigger so you can see. Pretty much straight up textbook trade today. Uh, as you can see, we're trending. The market is trending. The back chart is up. Such chart is up. And trend, the trading chart is up. I couldn't get in at overbought, oversold on the right candle that I wanted. And I was, um, I had a lot of contracts on the play. So I needed to make sure that I got behind the candle that would have the most momentum. So instead of entering in on this candle, I kind of waited, as you see, I entered up here for the moments in play. Because uh, as you know, uh, when you trade for Apex, they have an auto liquidation trailing drawdown um, right here. As you can see, this is real money. This is a real live account uh, because it's white. It's not a, um, if it was a sim, if it was simulation, this whole thing would be blue or gray. So I'm trading with real capital at the moment. Um, also, I'm on a copy trader. So when I take one trade, I'm taking it in all seven of my accounts. And that is how I made $52,000 in uh, pretty much an hour. Uh, look at the bottom here. You'll see it was 6 uh, 24 when I took the trade, I think. And so we'll just watch it play out. That's me double checking the trend. I was getting nervous at that point. Uh, didn't want it to break the trend line too heavy. Later on on my YouTube channel, I'll go over how my mind formulates when to get in a trade and when to get out of a trade. I'll break down the psychology that's going through my mind um, when I'm taking a trade. So you guys kind of have a feel of, you know, what I'm thinking, you know, if I'm buying with the buyers, I'm selling with the sellers, what's going on in my mind, how I'm portraying things. Like for an example here, most people would assume that because they kept trying this level, they tried this level, they tried this level that the market was going to continue to push down when it broke through this level. And these guys got trapped here. Uh, I didn't think that. In my mind, I'm thinking they just keep buying a product wholesale, 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 wholesale. And they're saving and they're saving their product and they're saving their product. And then the plug, the connect came to town right here and sold it even lower than wholesale. He sold it at like bulk. Right. And so a bunch of guys swooped in on it right here and all these guys that kept buying this level down here. They had an idea that the market was going to go up. And so they bought as much as they could. And that's what kept pushing the market, not being able to push the market down. They kept buying it. You know, it was almost as if they knew now how other people will teach you when you go to other schools is that, oh, they hit this line they hit this line they hit this line. Oh, they finally broke through. Get behind it. Buy. You know, they broke through the level. So the, the, the support level is broken by. Yeah, but if you'd have done that, look what would have happened. Boom. Now, you you know, they took your stop loss. They took your money and they ran off on you. You know what I mean? They ran off on you, dog. They ran off on the, on the, on the, on the plug. That's not how I look at it. It's supply and demand every day. Right? If I can buy it down here and it's going to go up here, come on, B. That's what I'm doing. And that to me, this was smart money. They were just buying it and buying it. Stupid people kept selling it. So they bought it from them. And it was like, yo, we're going to sell it later. I got to speed this up. It's taking too long. Eight ticks. I didn't want to put the money up. I know you guys like to watch the money, especially on my YouTube channel. But the money, it messes with my mind. It's a psychological thing. So I just count my ticks. Uh, like right now, you, I would be looking at almost like four, four, four grand. And it would make me want to like pull my stop loss closer and take the four grand. When I want it 14. So there you go. I hit my target and got out the trade. Uh, they tried to cancel my order because I use an ATM that runs right behind. And I don't think Apex likes that. That I use an ATM that will snap right to the next tick, to the next tick. They don't like that I program my ATMs that way, but I don't care. And as you can see, uh, this is no cap. These are my receipts. Uh, a 
account, 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 account. These are all my Apex trading accounts. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's about 52K in an hour. And all I did was take it, uh, it's the same trade in all accounts. I put 33 contracts on each on this play and I shut down the computer because uh, I'm done for the day. I don't need to make no more than $50,000. I don't need to be greedy, right? You know, ninja vanish, go get the bag, um, and then we're out, you know, and then I can have the rest of the day to, to myself. I actually don't even know what I'm going to do with myself. I'm probably going to just review stuff and things like that, and review trades and practice. Other than that, um, I catch y'all on the other side. Ninja vanish. Good job, Johnny.